Hey everybody, this is JC with Portland Music Live and I am down here outside the wonderful Hawthorne Theater in Southeast Portland and I am here with the band Unusual Subjects and I'm gonna pass this mic around. We're gonna introduce ourselves and find out who's what and what they're doing. Hey, yo, what to do? This is Butter, main vocals. Modus, the bass player. Oh, this is Pablo, I play the guitar. Jeremy, I do some guitar and singing. Skip Reason, I play drums. Excellent. Now that we know who everybody is, I'm going to ask these guys how they met, how they got together, what their influences are, what kind of music they're playing, so everybody out there in music land knows what's going on. I'm going to hand the mic to my friend Butter, and he's going to get us kicked off. All right, so basically me and Otis met through a mutual friend, and we started making music together. We decided we wanted to make a different kind of rock music. He plays the bass, always doing the vocals. We went through, and we found Jeremy, and we found Skip, and we found Pablo through some universe being awesome type shit, and uh, we started creating a good fusion sound of all of our particular styles that we like to play. You know, we got that. You know, we got the the mixture of the kind of the rap vocals over here, uh, kind of a Rage Against the Machine style. We got kind of the you know the the funk over here. We got some metal style and some uh, '90s grunge, and then we got some uh, we got some punk over here. So I mean, mixing it all together right there, it just brings a really unique sound out, something that you know I haven't heard anything of. So you know, I'm gonna pass it over here to Jeremy, bring some more history in. '90s grunge. It's all alternative rock, man. Everything in the 90s was amazing. Everybody out there says amen. Um, we're definitely moving towards something fun. We're all having a blast with the music we're making. It's uh, very funky and punky. Somebody once called us punk funk, and uh, we definitely love doing what we're doing. We're going to keep bringing more to you, and by the end of June, we should have at least one album out for you guys to enjoy a little more fully. Maybe two, maybe two. We're working on it. We're going to see what comes out of things. Um, definitely, these guys are all contributing something, so let's hear some drums. I got nothing. <laughs> Insightful. <laughs> a man of many words. Pablo? Uh, well, uh, I was looking for a band like for one year, and uh, I found this band, and now I'm happy to play with them. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. And if you couldn't tell, Pablo's from Idaho. I, yeah, Idaho. So another another thing that kind of sets us aside from a lot of other different places, I want to bring somebody in over here. Uh, this is uh, Psychedelic Jesus. Uh, this is our tech guy slash visual arts guy. Without this man right here, we wouldn't have the, sh the visual show that we have. It's, uh, it's, it's an experience when you come to our shows. It's not just not just your eardrums getting an orgasm there. It's, it's the all the above. So it's the ears and the eyes all at once. It's wonderful. Let me ask you, so it's it's a punk funk. What What is the energy in the crowd like? I mean, what are people just going crazy, screaming? Is it uh, like your typical punk show? Is it, what, what do we have? Uh, it's actually a very high energy. I mean, we're all jumping around and going crazy on stage. And when you see that amount of lights and all of that, that sound coming at you, I mean, a lot of people really just get into it and feel it. We've gotten crowds jumping. We get the crowds jumping. That's what we do. We put on a good show. So the energy is very high, very good. Everybody in a great mood, whole time. Excellent, excellent. Let me ask you another question. Where are you guys going? Where do you see yourselves in about six months? I mean, are you, are you doing shows weekly, monthly? Uh, you, do you have big plans for any kind of small tours? And talk about the Warp Tour. I mean, is this going to happen? What is tonight all about? So as it sits right now, we're doing about a show a month, uh, trying to keep it spaced out, not trying to flood the market in Portland. Um, moving out towards Central Oregon here this month also. We're in the process of recording and doing everything like that. And this show tonight is actually to determine a battle of the bands for Warp Tour. So our main objective right now is just to go out there and crush the competition, give a show that nobody's going to forget, and that's what's going to get us to Warp Tour right there. And, you know, we're going to be there. There's no doubt in my mind we're going to be there. So, you know, and after that, it's just pr plugging forward, man. It's, you know, bringing the music to the people and bringing something uplifting and different and not so dark because that's what I see in the world. And that's what that's what a collective of what we want in this band is what to bring overcoming. overcoming. Exactly. Overcoming, making something out of yourself and not being a sheep to society. So, okay. well, let me uh, let me take it to another place which I have no idea where that is, so I'm going to leave it to you guys to take it to another place and tell me something else about the band. Uh, your, your sound guy, your sound engineer and, and lights, and, and what do you know? 
Well, uh, right now my biggest focus is I notice that uh, people really are having a hard time getting out to actually go to shows lately. Uh, but one thing that I've noticed is that people still go out to uh, a lot of EDM and house and uh, that kind of music where they got a lot of lights, a lot of visuals. It's a very party environment. And I, I really feel like that's kind of died out of rock a little bit. So I'm kind of on a, on a personal mission to bring back the true rock and roll show with smoke machines and strobes and lights and video displays. Big backdrop, you know, big backdrops. I want, like I said, I, it needs to be an experience when you come to them. Exactly. Unusual subjects, and I'm going to find out from these guys, how do we find them? Where are they? They're on the interwebs. We know this, but we need some information on how to find these guys and track them down. Here we go, Butter. Groovy, thank you, sir. All right, so if you're looking to find us, you can find us and follow us on Facebook. We are facebook.com slash unsubs503. We also got a GoFundMe available out there to try and get us to make this second album. If you're looking to help us out making a small donation, we do offer great rewards. You can go to gofundme.com slash unusual, contribute whatever you want. We appreciate every single bit of it. Also, with the GoFundMe on there, you uh, if, once you donate, you will automatically get a copy of the album when it is done. So you're already pretty much prepaying for your copy of the album. Good deal, good deal. No doubt. All right, so also, if you're looking to follow us, you can stream our music on ReverbNation.com slash TheUnsubs. Unusual.com, spelled A-R-E-Y-O-U, Unusual.com. We hope to see all you subjects there. And a big stream at the end. Yeah!